Hello everyone, uh, this is the CS Revelation and welcome to a new video on Apex Oracle. So today we're going to be uh, taking a look at the alter table command. Uh, so this is uh, one of those nice commands that efficiently modifies an existing uh, structure. So it's very nice to have or to know how to use, uh, especially if you have, let's say, a database that already exists that you've created your tables and you added the data into them. But for some reason, let's say there has been a change in the requirement and let's say you wanted to add a column or remove a column or modify an existing column or maybe renaming a table or renaming a column. So this is uh, a command that will modify an existing structure without uh, recreating everything from scratch. Uh, so uh, the syntax for the alter table command is that you say alter table table name. Uh, and then uh, you will uh, choose one of these tasks. It's either that you're going to add a column, uh, you're going to drop a column, uh, you also could uh, modify an existing column. Also, you could uh, rename a column uh, or you could also rename a table. So these are the tasks that you can accomplish with the alter table command. OK, so we're going to take a look at the first one. So uh, but for this uh, assignment, make sure you guys um, so we're going to be using uh, these three tables that we created in the previous videos. So there's the employee table, there's the department table, and also we have this uh, works for table. Now, if you haven't seen how we created these tables, uh, we'll leave the links in the description on how we created these uh, uh, three tables. So we created these tables in one video and also inserted data into them in another video. Now, if you want to take a look at your current structure for the employee table, it's either that you uh, run the describe command. Uh, that's going to give you a description of what the employee table is uh, going to have in terms of metadata. So uh, it's called employee. This is the uh, column list. So we have three columns and these are the data types for these columns. And the primary key here is uh, employee ID. Uh, you could also do like a uh, select uh, star from employee and that's just going to list uh, all the columns and all the data for the employee table uh, so it's going to list it in uh, table view so you have this column employee ID these are the IDs uh, these are the names and these are the emails so we have three columns here employee ID employee name and email so let's suppose that um, our task is to add a column uh, to this table. Let's suppose we want to add, say, the employee city. Okay. So to do that, uh, this is the code. So we're going to use the alter table command. So we say alter table. The table name is employee. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to add. So we're going to add a column. So we want the column name. The column name is city. And uh, of course, you must mention the data type, and that's going to be, say, varchar uh, 20. That is up to 20 characters. So when we run this, uh, it's, it's going to say old table altered. Uh, let's confirm that the table has altered and we have added the city column to the employee table. So we could run either one of these commands. Uh, so let's run the describe command. And there you have it. The city column now is in our database. Now, uh, of course, uh, if you want to view your table, uh, you notice that the column is here, but there's no, da no data yet because we haven't inserted any data into it. Uh, we're going to see later in future videos how to add data to existing columns, uh, and, but that's going to be in data manipulation. That's when we learn how to do update. Uh, so we use the update query. Okay, so let's take a look at the other tasks that we can achieve with alter table. Uh, and that is to drop a column. Uh, so let's suppose that we want to drop the column city. So we're going to do alter table, uh, same way. So that is employee. And uh, we're going to drop column. Uh, so drop column, the column name is city. Uh, so when you run this command, uh, this query, uh, you're going to say all table altered, uh, but if you want to view the table now, uh, when you do describe 
uh, you see that the city column is gone. So we only have three columns here, the employee ID, the employee name, and email. So you see, it's very nice. Like you don't have to delete or drop the table and recreate it from scratch. All you need to do is just run the alter table command. Uh, let's say the next thing we want to do is to learn how to modify an existing column. So let's suppose that uh, for some reason, let's say the requirement was changed uh, for one of these columns, say this is, these are the, this is the current description of our columns. So let's say like employee name is of length 15, this varchar 15. Let's suppose that uh, our employees, you know, we got one employee that has uh, uh, more than 15 characters for their name. So to uh, modify the length of uh, e name, we could use the alter table command. So we could say alter table. So alter table employee, and we're going to modify. So it's modify, uh, modify the column name, which is e name. So we're going to modify it to this new data type so it's still uh, actually varchar we're going to keep the same data type but the precision for it is going to be let's say 25 and if we run this command it's going to say table altered and then if we run the describe employee command now we're going to notice that uh it is now of length 25 instead of 15. so uh, that is how you modify an existing column, uh, some of its features. Uh, of course, you can achieve more than just modifying the data type, but that's just one way. Just wanted to show you how to use the modify. Uh, now, let's see if we want to rename a table. Uh, let's say we wanted to rename the employee table uh, to employees instead of employee. So we could use the alter table command uh, and the table name that we are altering is employee. We're going to say rename. So rename to, and that's going to be the new name. So we're going to say employee is, uh, for example, let's see if we run this, it's going to say table altered. Watch when we try to describe employee, it's supposed to, you know, that table doesn't exist anymore. So it's going to say object to be described would not be found. But if you say describe employees, which is the new name, it's going to describe that table with the current structure. So that is how you use the rename a table. Now let's take a look at how we can rename a column. So we're going to do alter table uh, employee. Now let's suppose that what we want to rename is uh, uh, the column, let's say employee ID, instead of E underscore ID, we're going to call it a e -M -P underscore ID. So it's rename uh, column, rename column. Uh, by the way, I, I, I keep alternating between uh, uppercase, lowercase, just to show you that um, it's not case sensitive. Apex is not case sensitive in this case. So whether you use uppercase or lowercase is still going to work. Now you want the old name, which is E underscore ID. Then you use two, the new name. The new name is EMP ID. So now if I run this, it should say table altered. Uh, it says does not exist. Again, you see, remember we renamed our table. So it is employees. It's not employee anymore. When we hit the run button now, it says table altered and let's go back and describe this table uh, and notice that it's called EMPID instead of EID now. Uh, so that was just a quick video on how to use the alter table command. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you find this video helpful, please uh, hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos on Apex, Oracle and uh, other areas. Uh, so peace.